a con game. That's what police call it, and it's costing families in green country thousands of dollars. Fox 23 has been investigating two brothers since 2011, accused of roofing scams and doing bad business. Fox 23 investigative reporter Jana Clark found out why they're in trouble now. It's a Fox 23 investigation. I've done several stories about these brothers. For a while, they left green country, but recently came back. And police tell me they left another trail of victims, this time in Owasso. It started like this. Came to the door, he knocked on the door. Was he the kind of guy you thought you could trust? Yeah, absolutely. He sounded like he knew what he was talking about. He was very convincing. Aaron Sadler says the guy you see on home surveillance and his brother tricked Aaron's growing family out of thousands of dollars. When they knew that this was our first home, that my wife was pregnant, and for this man to sit at my table and look, look at her, knowing what he was going to do, that I don't understand. The man told Aaron his name was Bill Johnston and that he'd put on a new roof for only the amount insurance would pay out. They were blowing up my phone asking me, when can they come by and get a check? And I just kind of thought this is really awkward. This is really weird. Here, Bill's brother, called Chase, convinces Aaron to give him money up front for materials. Aaron hands him a check for more than $6,700 with a promise the brothers will put on a new roof right away. And they kept saying that over and over and over again. Aaron says for days he called and texted Bill, but got excuses or just ignored. And then by 2.30 that Monday, his phone was disconnected. I had my phone up to my ear and I and, and I just dropped my phone. Aaron filed this report with Owasso police. That's when I found out they were gave me fake names. And ID'd the brothers' mugshots. Their real names? William Richard Pittman and Casey Thomas Pittman. Police say they used an array of fake names on business cards they've handed out with varying company names and addresses. This card shows Richard Thompson with Integrity Contracting and Roofing on 8177 South Lewis. We came to check the address and it should be right here, but the only thing here is all this grass. Other addresses we checked show more dead ends, three wooded areas and a mailbox store. Police say the Pittmans did use a real roofing business name, Fairway, that you can see on the shirt William wore to Aaron's house. Also on the contract and the card, Fairway Roofing in Owasso. Problem is, it's not their business. The real owner out of Owasso told us the Pittman brothers don't work for him. In fact, he's helping police with the case. All I've been fed is lie after lie after lie. At this point, I'm like, let the law do its thing. Police have picked up Casey Pittman over the past 17 years for various crimes in Wagner and Tulsa County. In some cases, he was convicted. Others were dismissed. Right now, fraud charges are pending in Tulsa County. William Pittman's been arrested in Wagner, Osage, Delaware, and Tulsa County for crimes like obtaining money by false pretense. Not all his arrests led to convictions. A warrant's out now for his arrest in Tulsa County for con game. Is this a con game? Yes. I don't like playing it. Charges are pending for William and Casey for what happened to Aaron's family. Me and my wife prayed for them. And I prayed that they would quit this. Thank you. I tried for weeks to find William and Casey Pittman. Knocked on doors at multiple addresses. I spent hours on the phone trying to track them down. The number you have reached is not in service. But I couldn't reach them. Sources tell me the Pittmans recently left Oklahoma. Now that I look back on it, it all makes sense. They knew what they were going to do the day they knocked on my door. Covering news that matters. Jana Clark, Fox 23 News. So heartbreaking for anyone. Now, William Pittman's attorney says he sent this letter to Aaron back in May that says Pittman will be, quote, issuing a full refund in the very near future. But Aaron told us he hasn't gotten any money back. Jana put together a step-by-step -step approach before hiring a contractor or a roofer to do work on your home. You can find it on Jana's Facebook page and fox23.com. Just look for this story.